Disney fans, how's it going? This is Anne from Anna Shine, and today's Disney It Yourself is inspired from the movie Alice in Wonderland. So I was very much inspired to make those fun cookies that she ate in the movie, and it was the Eat Me cookies where she ate a piece and grew bigger and bigger and bigger, or smaller and smaller and smaller. So let's get started. If you guys want to learn how to make these fun decorative cookies that you can decorate in your room or anywhere in your house, they add like a nice fun boost in color anywhere you put them and they're just fun to look at. Just make sure you don't eat them though because they're not edible. They're just for decoration. <laughs> Okay, so to make these decorative fake cookies, I will be using some polymer clay. Now, polymer clay is a material that you bake to harden. I like polymer clay because it retains its vibrant colors and texture after it hardens. You can find this material in craft stores. You can also use regular Play-Doh as well if you can't find polymer clay. Now remember, this is non-edible. To make one cookie, you will need one block of this golden color clay or a brown if you're a chocolate lover. Once taken out, immediately soften it with your hands by kneading it. The first couple of minutes will feel tough, but your hands warmth and kneading action will soften the clay. Once the clay is soft, roll it into a ball, then flatten it like so. Now it's time to take a bottle or another rolling surface to flatten out your clay. I'm making my clay big enough for my cookie cutter. You can pretty much make your clay into any shape and size you like, like a heart. Now it's time for the cookie cutter. Right after that, it's time to make the frosting. Here I will be using one fourth of a block of my color clay. Then I will basically do the same thing I did earlier. Next, place your color frosting onto the cookie. And to make the letters on the cookie, take a little piece of colored clay and roll it back and forth to form a long spaghetti-like shape. Okay, form your letters and pinch off whatever is not needed. You can then decorate this into anything you like. You can also pinch off little pieces to make sprinkles. Once you're complete, it's now time to bake the clay. Make sure to read the label on the packaging of your clay as each brand is slightly different. There should be instruction on how much heat you should set your oven at. And although this clay is labeled to be non-toxic, I like to bake the clay cookie in aluminum foil to avoid any fumes from releasing. Once it's done baking, let it cool to touch. Since these are not real cookies, it won't go stale or attract bugs. You can even glue a magnet to them to make them into refrigerator magnets. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to tell me which Disney inspiration you like to see next. Talk to you next time. Bye!